Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to cover Unit 6, The Sweating Earth. The chapter is about pollution. You already know what is the meaning of pollution. Addition of harmful substances in air, in water and in soil that is called pollution. And we are destroying our earth with our own hands. It's, a, it's an open secret. Today in this chapter we are going to discuss this topic in detail. First of all, after reading this unit, the students will be able to explain the phenomena of global warming and climate change. So two words are important, global warming and climate change. What is the meaning of global warming? Global warming means the average temperature of the earth is increasing day by day. That is why the earth is becoming warmer. This is called global warming. And climate change, the average climate of the world is also changing. We all know that the glaciers on the poles, they are melting. So the temperature is increasing and the climate of different regions of the world is also changing. We have rains in those areas where there was no rain before. We have less rains in those areas where there was a lot of rain in the previous years. So the overall temperature of the world that is changing. Next is list their responsibilities towards nature. Now how can we protect nature at our own level although it's a global problem and needs special attention of all the nations of the world. But we have our own responsibilities also. For example, there should be proper system for littering and for dispose of different kinds of products in our cities. There are so many other things also that we will discuss in chapter. And then the analysis of the news articles and their stories and the news stories that is given in the chapter also. Infer the intention and feeling underlying the autobiography. Now the word autobiography that is important in the whole statement. The story of your life which is written by yourself is called autobiography. If it is written by yourself then it will be autobiography. Otherwise if it is written by someone else then it will be a biography. Collect information and analyze it for further action that, we, that will be discussed at the end of the whole unit. Learn to use anagrams and articles in their writings means that is a part of grammar. Enhance fluency of expression through quotations, idioms, speech acts and fun reading. You know that is a part of the all the units that we have to discuss the quotations, idioms, speech acts and fun reading. Then look at the picture very carefully. There is brown color at one side and this shows the hotness of the earth that the temperature of the earth that is increasing. It is becoming hotter day by day. And the other part of the earth that is green, that is uh, clean and that is also cool, green and blue color that is there in this part of the earth which shows that it is very cool. And the other part of the earth, so there are two aspects of the earth, one is cool and the other is very hot. Now pre-reading exercise, why do you think earth is unhappy today? Yes, why the earth is unhappy today? Because we have destroyed the resources of the earth. We have cut down the trees, we have burned the coal, we have burned the other resources, the natural resources. That is why the temperature of the earth that is increasing and many species of the animals that is becoming extinct day by day. We have burned the forest. That is why the abode of many, many animals that has come to an end. That is why the earth is unhappy. Because the people, the, uh, the, the other kinds of life that is living on earth, that is unhappy. How are we harming earth with our actions? Yes, we are using the resources of the earth without understanding its importance. We are doing the things which are not good for the climate of the earth. That is why we are harming earth with our actions. What do you think about the future of life on earth? If we continue 
to destroy the earth at the same level then ultimately what will happen the future of life on earth will not be very happy it will be very grim and ultimately life will come to an end on this earth so let us come to the next uh, next page that is the sweating earth so we will read the lesson and try to understand the message of the writer on page number 75 throughout the 5 4.5 billion years of my age i have been continuously growing now earth is telling its own story so it is an autobiography and that is saying that throughout the 5.5 billion years of my age who is saying that the earth is saying that i have been continuously growing my journey from nothingness to everything and darkness to brightness has been interesting as well as depressing now earth is telling us its own story that there was nothing on the earth in the beginning there was darkness no brightness and it was so depressing in the beginning as the life was not there on the earth in the beginning but slowly what happened the life of different kinds that emerged on the earth there were some very difficult times in my life which i never thought i would survive at all but i did so some very difficult times also came in the life of the earth but it survived i remember passing through times of extreme temperatures that ranged from blazing hot to freezing cold so earth passed through many different different times it was very hot at some time and at some time it was freezing cold i have witnessed life growing from a tiny cell to gigantic to giant creatures so earth is telling that in the beginning the life came into being in the form of very tiny very small cells and ultimately the the giant creatures very big creatures like the elephant that came into being similarly the most intelligent creature of all the human beings that also came on the earth so in this paragraph the earth is telling its own story that it has to pass through many different periods of life it was nothingness in the beginning and then the brightness came and in the beginning it was very depressing but ultimately life came on it from a tiny cell to giant creatures then we come to the next paragraph there came happy times for me as i witnessed life growing in my oceans in the mountains and on the land obviously with the passage of time different forms of life that also grew in oceans in the mountains and on the land beautiful forms of life emerged and made me their home and different kinds of life that was produced and then earth that became full of different kinds of life i was cultivated to give them food from soil and water yes cultivation started on earth to give man food to give animals food and soil was also used for that water was also used for that my lush green plains shady thick forests and sparkling blue water are not only full of food to survive but also a feast to the human eyes it means that lush green plains shady thick forest and sparkling blue water is not only the source of food for the human beings but also a feast a very good thing for the human eyes to see it means nature was produced that is not only provide us food and other requirements of life but also it is very pleasant for the human eyes to see all these beautiful creation I enjoyed pleasant breeze full of flowers scent and pleasing sounds of chirping birds so birds chirp and the breeze that was full of pleasant uh, pleasant fragrance of flowers I giggled with joy whenever a toddler ran after a butterfly or smile smiled at kittens playing in the shining sunlight yes when the nature that was all in its glory then it was a source of enjoyment for the earth to see a toddler toddler means a small child who is running after a butterfly or smiled at kitten playing in the shining sunlight 
this joyous time is to become a treasured memory very soon if no one bothers for me this line is very important this happy time this time full of joy will come to an end very soon it will come to an end if no one bothered about the earth me means the earth because it is written in the style of an autobiography if so uh, no one bothered about the temperature of the earth about the beauty of the earth then soon this time will come to an end when there will be no butterflies no beauty of nature on this earth and the temperature of the earth will reach to such a high point that no living creature will be able to live on this earth so we can see the picture that uh, tears are running in the eyes of the earth it is sweating it is weeping and it is showing its dislike for the blazing sun and for the global warming we can see that uh, the rains are shown at one side because if the temperature increases then the rains they also increase and on the other side we can see that there is hotness there is fire also forest fire and recently we have witnessed this thing also we have uh, we, uh, we have seen that many forests of the world that have uh, set on set ablaze uh, for example in australia in amazon also and uh, many forests of the world that have uh, come to an end and millions of species of the animals uh, have come to an end on the earth have become extinct that is why the earth is weeping for them earth is sweating for them for the species that have gone for the trees that have been cut down over there now come to the next page that is page number 76 i am home to man and give him all forms of life to dwell and prosper he is working and developing tirelessly to make his life luxurious without giving a thought to my future i am home to man who is living on this earth man it is the home of man and so that he may live over there and he may become prosperous prosperous he is working and developing tirelessly obviously he is developing the earth he is working for it without tirelessly he is doing all that thing to make his life luxurious comfortable luxurious full of comfort without giving a thought to my future but nobody bothers about the future of the earth my enormous natural resources are being dug out to increase the wealth of a few this line is also very important my enormous natural resources enormous means very large very big the large resources that the earth has are being dug out to increase the wealth of a few only few people are using the wealth of these resources and they are becoming richer day by day and the other people they are becoming poor day by day <coughs> the resources of the earth that is for all the people who are living on the earth but unfortunately these are being used used only to increase the wealth of some people for example the natural resources means for example different kinds of minerals natural oil as well as coal gas these are the these are for all the people who are living on the earth but unfortunately the wealth that is gained by these resources is being used only for a few people for some people to increase the wealth of some people sanjeev's old reservoirs of fossil fuel like coal and oil are being burned to run the ever increasing number of industries number of indus- industries that is increasing in the world and fossil fuel like coal and oil are being used without thinking that ultimately this resource will come to an end my forests are being cut down to clear more space for dwelling and has made many species of animals and birds living in these forests extinct yes at different places we can see the forests are being cut down and the space is being cleared for making houses for making societies that has made many species of and ultimately many species of animals and birds that are living in these forests that has become extinct they are no more living over there 
if we observe even our own country our own city then we can see that most of the trees are being cut down and that is why we can observe even the temperature of islamabad that is also increasing day by day the summers are becoming longer and longer and winters they have become shrunk all the reason is that we have cut down so many trees and cleared the space, uh, spaces for making houses and roads and societies man does not realize that the unchecked cutting unchecked cutting down of trees has not only deprived those species of their home but the oxygen bank necessary for human life is also depleting so trees they are not only the source they the unchecked cut down of trees has not only has harmful effect on the human being on the different species of birds and animals but we are also cutting down the number of the amount of oxygen for the which is necessary for the human life there are unlimited species of life which were my friends but they are not with me today so unlimited species have come to an end on this earth i appreciate that the human kind is very innovative and smart and tirelessly work to make advancement in the field of technology now there is a word of appreciation for those people who are innovative means who are inventing new kinds of things for the better life of human beings they are smart they are active they are very hard working they are making advancements in the fields of technology skyscrapers and the ever growing industry are some examples of this development skyscrapers means very high rise buildings and the ever growing industry yes different kinds of industries that are being set up are the examples of this development but i fear that man has not estimated the amount of harmful gases which are emitting from the industries and their effect on life on earth in general yes but man has forgotten that industries they bring money they bring wealth they provide employment to the people they provide things to the market but at the same time they emit very harmful gases also which may affect the life in general on earth such developments have led to pollution of all kinds where air water and land are equally disturbed my waters are full of man made garbage and life in water is choking with death we all know the harmful effects of plastics we all know the harmful effects of different kinds of garbage that we are throwing in water and we don't know how to dispose of this kind of garbage i miss my fresh breeze because today air is full of unpleasant odor and harmful gases emitted from industries so the earth is also missing fresh breeze because of the unpleasant smells harmful gases that are emitted by the industries i feel sorry for my soil for it has to deal with large amount of plastics and other types of garbage which cannot be processed naturally so the main problem is with the plastics and the other types of garbage that cannot be disposed of with the natural methods that is why earth is full of garbage everywhere we can see the heaps of garbage there is no method to get rid of these kind of garbage so we have destroyed everything on the earth now i am becoming warmer day by day and and i feel that soon more and more water will be evaporated and my friends living in water will be losing their homes my glaciers have already started melting and my beautiful friends living in polar regions are worried about their homes i am becoming warmer day by day means the temperature of the earth that is increasing day by day and ultimately more and more water will be evaporated when the temperature increases rate of evaporation that also increases or more and more water that is converted into that evaporates and my friends living in water will be losing their homes ultimately the water bodies will become less and my glaciers that are at the poles they are melting and some beautiful re- friends of earth means some beautiful animals that are living in polar regions are worried that ultimately the ice will melt and where would they live melting ice will not only deprive animals and plants of their homes 
on the two poles but will also raise water level in oceans and when the on the poles the ice will melt then water will come in the oceans and ultimately the water level in oceans will also increase eventually human life around ocean will be destroyed and this will have a very negative effect on human life or the people who are living around the oceans my climate is rapidly changing and weather conditions of many countries are becoming hostile for people living in them yes the climate is also changing and the weather conditions of the countries that is becoming hostile means opposite to the people it is becoming very harmful for the people living in them for example the country of maldives that is droning in the ocean day by day and ultimately it will be drawn and they and the name of the country will come to an end similarly many areas of the earth they are becoming extinct floods droughts acid rains bush fires and earthquakes are some of the natural calamities resulting from man made hazards so there are so many reasons of these natural calamities also for example floods the urban flood that we have recently experienced over there in karachi the main reason was garbage choking of different kinds of nalas and there is no place for water to flow that is why there was a flood similarly the other reasons of flood are that we have cut down the trees to stop the water to slow down the speed of water that is coming from the high areas there are some places where there is lot of water floods due to heavy rains and there are some places where the rains have come to an end and the result is drought similarly acid rain because we have uh, mixed so many harmful substances in the air that the when it rains many harmful substances that also react with them and ultimately the water that comes on the earth that changes into acid bush fires very common jungle fires that has destroyed much area of the land for example the land the fire in the amazon forest the recent fires in australia similarly earthquakes are some of the natural calamities resulting from man made man made hazards i am not used to living in the temperature i am facing now yes the earth is facing very difficult conditions nowadays and it is not used to it i fear that it will increase in coming years life will be in real danger and i can just hope that the human kind thinks think about it now or there will be no time left to act so the time is passing very quickly and the life is in danger on the earth and ultimately human beings they should take some action otherwise there will be no time left to act and ultimately life will come to end on this planet earth so this is a warning for all of us that we should try to make the things better for us thank you i think it's enough for today